The James Webb Space Telescope, additionally known as Webb or JWST, is a logical pioneer that has uncovered astonishing insights concerning stars, planets, worlds, and other interesting infinite peculiarities, as well as setting new norms for scientific energy. Webb is hailed as the admired Hubble Space Telescope substitution. People from one side of the planet to the other are trading photographs or utilizing crude information to make new experiences. Go along with us on this astronomical excursion. Three minutes back, James Webb catches the most alarming picture at any point seen in history. One year has passed since the considerable James Webb Space Telescope uncovered its very first memorable picture of the universe, stunning stargazers all across the world with its exceptional detail. Yet its latest finding is an astonishing image of the universe that we have never seen before. What has been seen as up to this point by the James Webb Space Telescope is suggesting more conversation starters than it deals with. Researchers, as the replacement to the Hubble Telescope, revealed new data about star development, universe consolidations, and the early universe. Just one month after the underlying photographs were delivered, the photos were stunning, uncovering the universe in stunning detail. From that point forward, the quantity of revelations has soared, giving researchers a huge information treasure mine. James Webb Space Telescope perceptions of grandiose tarantulas, record-breaking space smoke stars, almost their cosmic explosion blasts, and other mind-blowing heavenly objects have been archived. This satellite observatory's state-of-the-art innovation permits us to peer farther into space than previously, uncovering previously obscure subtleties about the universe. Another time in cosmology is unfolded. On account of the photographs, which can be so itemized, as a method for remembering the first year of the James Webb Space Telescope's activity, NASA delivered a picture that shows a small star-forming region in the Rufuchi Cloud Complex. The picture shows planes ejecting from infant stars as enormous residue billows of different colors. Impact atomic hydrogen makes up the red residue, and the presence of a circumstellar circle causes some qualms about a hardly any stars, suggesting the chance of planet arrangement in the far-off past. The picture might show grandiose anarchy, but, as per NASA, this heavenly nursery is small and serene contrasted with others. Furthermore, a large number of the youthful stars in this region are about the size of our sun or even significantly more modest, making it the nearest star-forming area to Earth. This image was caught by the primary camera of the observatory, the Webb Space Telescope's close-to-infrared camera, which catches grandiose pictures in two unmistakable infrared ranges all at once. Moreover, the Space Telescope has worked on our insight into exoplanets or universes that circle stars other than our sun. James Webb is particularly great at taking a gander at huge faraway universes. The satellite observatory found its first exoplanet, LHS 475 billion, at the start of 2023. The planet is 41 light years far off and has a breadth equivalent to Earth's. James Webb, as indicated by NASA, is the sole operational telescope fit for sequencing the air of exoplanets that are Earth sized. By the researchers responsible for the review group that made the disclosure, the discoveries illustrated how exact the telescope was. Rough exoplanets are currently another outskirts for stargazers to investigate. After that, the James Webb Telescope found evidence of a distant memory universes that from a hypothetical point of view shouldn't have existed. The Evo Lab of Swinburne College and his overall galactic group have found six colossal old universes called Universe Breakers, and they can possibly totally impact the manner in which we contemplate space. These gigantic universes might have appeared between 500 to 700 million years after the enormous detonation. As indicated by the specialists' results, recently, the telescope's infrared sensors detected them. Through the utilization of these instruments, we are capable to look back in time around 13.5 billion years when stars and cosmic systems were a lot more established. The gigantic boundlessness of the universe breakers has left researchers confused. Cosmic systems in the early universe ought to have been 10 to 100 times less than that. Their computations show that these six objects might be billions of times heavier than our sun. The amount of the relative multitude of stars in one universe may be 100 billion times heavier than our sun. Does the prospect of attempting to comprehend something so gigantic give you the creeps? Regardless of mechanical advancement, planets that are quite enormous to exist have specialists very puzzled. 
none more so than the finding of a planet that is considered excessively gigantic for its sun. This has prompted a reassessment of our aggregate comprehension of planet creation and nearby planet group engineering, as well as the models created by stargazers. A planet that is multiple times as immense as Earth has been viewed as, as per research out of Penn State. Legend has it that this planet is in a planetary framework around the ultra-cool star LHS 3154, a star that is multiple times less massive than our Sun. Before, as of late, seeing it for themselves, researchers didn't accept such a situation was possible. Yet new proof shows that the largest planet in our planetary group is truly circling one of the universe's smallest and coolest stars, an ultra-cool dwarf. We still have close to zero insight into the universe. This finding demonstrates it much more. A planet of this mass circling a star with such a low mass overcomes our presumptions. These stars might have started in huge gas and residue mists. Planets may appear from the gas and residue that remain in the plate of material around the infant star. After this, it isn't guessed that the planet-forming plates surrounding the low-mass star LHS 3154 contain adequate solid mass to produce this planet. However, it exists. Hence, we should now re-examine our hypotheses regarding heavenly and planetary development. A good relationship would be to contrast the star with an open air fire. In order to keep up with your internal heat level, you should get closer to the fire. As its temperature diminishes, planets are no different. Planets that need to be hot enough to support fluid water should be nearer to their stars. You can utilize the inner planets of our planetary group as a model to envision how planets draw more smoking the closer they get to the star. For instance, our Earth is in the center of the tenable zone due to the water and warmth it gets from the Sun. The distances of different planets from our Sun are either excessively perfect or as well little for them to get the right measure of light to help life. Now, picture a universe with an incredibly cold star. Like drawing nearer to the campfire, you'd have to do likewise with planets circling a virus star to get the ideal proportion of intensity to support life. The radius of the planet should likewise be modified to give the ideal distance for intensity and light to help life. Presently getting back to our past conversation, there are various speculations with respect to why the planet might have framed close to the little star. As indicated by a generally held conviction, the planet might have been fundamentally bigger before. As time went on, the world would have lost a critical piece of its mass. However, this hypothesis has a key imperfection on the grounds that bad mass makes a planet. Lose more gas than solids. In this situation, it is guessed that most of the planet's mass would have been vaporous, which is conflicting with the finding. Another clarification is that this gigantic planet was shaped not even close to the minuscule star. Assuming the planet had the option to keep up with its distance from the low-mass star without getting a lot of light, it would presumably be ice-covered. The star could ultimately gravitationally draw in this faraway planet, which would bring about this gigantic planet being near this tiny star. In spite of the fact that there is a potential that the two thoughts could result in the noticed planet and star pair, researchers are still incapable to conclusively make sense of the peculiarity at this time. With cutting-edge advancements like the JWST, scientists are presently looking at planetary groups in more detail, and each fresh finding is pushing them. We have dived more deeply into how the universe has formed throughout the course of recent months than we have in the past 30 years. The gigantic group of data that the telescope offers has previously prompted major logical advances that have amazed stargazers and stirred up interest in future space travel. With the James Webb Space Telescope working for a year now, one thing is without a doubt. The universe is significantly more convoluted than we previously envisioned, and there are a part of inquiries that we are yet to reply.